Happy Monday, everyone. Coming at you from a new location today because we, they are doing some serious construction across the street from my studio. So I am now in my library and uh, it works out quite well because I have some art happening right behind me, a couple of paintings. And I want to talk to you about looking at art. These are not my paintings. I'll get to them in just a moment. First of all, I want to say Happy Monday. I want to say Happy Easter to everyone. I hope the lighting is okay. I look a little washed out with the lighting. But this was a last minute change of plans here today for the uh, video. So uh, excuse my washed out looking this, but um, we'll get past that hopefully. It's about the art today. So let's get to it. I've got only nine more minutes left and I've got a lot to talk about. A few days ago I was watching a CBC documentary, pardon me, listening to a, po a podcast on CBC about the painter Peter Doig. Very interesting. And the fellow doing the podcast happened to mention that uh, not many Canadians could even name a Canadian painter. And this kind of shocked me because the world of art has been so much a part of my life for the last, you know, 25 years that it kind of surprised me that everyone else is not as much into art as I am. I'm a bit of a odd duck. I'm a bit different because uh, I eat, breathe and live art. And it just seems to me that everybody should. And I know that's truly not the case. And the fact is, I didn't grow up with art in my life. I didn't become a painter until I uh, was halfway through an, a degree in psychology before anybody, you know, introduced me to the world of art. I did not grow up with art in my home as a young person. We didn't talk about art. We didn't do art galleries or theater or any of that. So it was a whole different place for me once I did discover it. And I think that's probably the majority of people. So perhaps I am talking, you know, to those of you who are already, you know, in art. Obviously, if you're following me, you're listening to my art tips every Monday, you're probably interested in art already. But I just want to talk to you a bit about the group of seven. I talk about them in my art tips and perhaps they're not as well known as I thought that they are. Maybe I'm just uh, in my own little world and thinking that everybody knows about art as, and the Canadians and the greatness that we have in this country. It's our Canadian art is extraordinary. And I've had a, the great fortune of seeing a lot of it in the past. I've done some traveling and seen some exhibits and uh, I love it. I wanna talk to you about the importance of looking at art. It will change you and it's powerful. Now, the painting that is hanging up on my wall behind my head here right there is, was done by my mentor, Keith Smith. And the lighting in here is not the best. My apologies about that. And I've recently posted a whole blog post on my website. So I've put a link under this video so you can check it out and it tells the whole story about that painting and it's a fun one. On the desk uh, beneath it uh, is a painting done by my friend Gary Wheatcroft. He's from Salmon Arm. He used to be my neighbor here in Kimberley, painted here in Kimberley for many years. He's another great, great painter. So um, I've got another one of his paintings hanging above my bed. I'm not sure if you are art buyers out there, but uh, I'm a big believer in supporting artists, dead or alive. Um, some of the people I know uh, are art collectors and they only collect the famous painters that are no longer with us. But uh, back one second to this, Peter Doig, who was on the CBC, his paintings are selling for millions of dollars. And he's still well, uh, well alive, breathing, so, you know, so you never know. There's hope for all of us, you know, to make a good career at this art thing after all. It's uh, an amazing business. And I wanna also discuss um, the fact that art is accessible and it's out there for people to see. 
don't be uh, be surprised to um, experience art. I'm reading a book right now by a painter called Banksy, who is a firm believer that art should be accessible to everyone. And I am hoping that with my art discussions that people will feel more comfortable delving into the art world because it is a world that can be a bit of a fine art, educated, hoity-toity, world and I don't want people to believe that because it is for everyone and you don't have to be well educated in order to look at art. Louise, I'm really glad you're here. Thank you for tuning in today and I hope you're enjoying it. I would love to see about the art that you like to look at and what you enjoy so let me know. Uh, I love art. I'm excited that people are getting more interested in looking at art. A few years ago, I was in Vancouver and I was wondering what the big crowds were lined up all in blocks and blocks and blocks around the downtown core. And then I found out that the Vancouver Art Gallery that evening had free admission. So it made me happy to see that people are not always, uh, that people are interested in this great world of art. It is amazing and it's for everyone to enjoy and I always welcome people to come and see my art and enjoy it give me feedback it's not only for those people that are interested in purchasing it's for all to to, to experience and it is also very important when you are an art a painter that you look at the masters they had a way of moving their brush and the Keith painting that is hanging behind me, I got to watch him do the entire painting and it was extraordinary to see his brush move and dance across the canvas. It was out of this world. I learned so much by spending that afternoon in his studio with him watching him do that. And now I have it hanging on my wall in my library here. It's extraordinary. So um, just take part, take it in. And another fun story I wanted to let you know about is one time when I was at an art gallery, I was up close and personal. I think it might have even been at looking at the Monet paintings and somebody came over and tapped me on my shoulder to inform me that I was looking at it wrong. And they wanted to let me know that all oil paintings are best observed from a distance. So you should stand back. And that was quite funny because I'm an art instructor and, uh, I was well aware of that, but at the time I was studying the brush strokes of the painting. And that's on, there's only one way to really understand a painting and it, that is to see it in real life. There is no way you could ever imagine what a Monet painting looks like until you've actually seen it in real life. So get out there when you have the opportunity. Things have been a bit crazy with COVID. I know there is a great art exhibit coming to Calgary to the Glenville Museum. And the museum itself is closed while they do renovations, but they will have a temporary gallery set up with a fantastic exhibit of women, famous Canadian women painters. I highly recommend you go. I've heard great things about this exhibit. I'm hoping to go myself. An experience. It will be an amazing experience. So I'm hoping that that will all come to fruition, that we can all go and see it. If you do get to see this uninvited show, it's called Uninvited, please let me know what you think because I am dying to hear about the paintings that are there. It was previously on exhibit at the Glenbow Museum and it's going to be in Calgary. So yay for that. Uh, what else did I want to talk about quickly? Mm, I think I've remembered everything. But don't forget the original artwork of any painter has got energy. It has energy from that painter who painted it. They actually touched that canvas with their hand and put every stroke on that canvas. So it is a living, almost like a living thing. I was going to say breathing, but paintings don't breathe but it has got energy from that artist. It is a part of that artist. So that is the difference between having uh, an original work of art hanging on your wall and having a print or something that, you know, you purchased just to buy uh, to match your couch or your furniture. 
there is energy and art and don't forget that okay uh every artist is a part of it and they put their heart and soul into a canvas and to paintings or whatever the work of art may be so just remember that you will have energy in your home so that's the difference between seeing original art and seeing a print so yeah i wanted you to just really take a moment for all of you that are learning to paint take some time to look at original art it's a lot different looking at an original than seeing it even in the books you're going to really really learn a lot by looking at great art it is one of the most valuable things a painter can do is to study the greats okay so just have a great week thank you for tuning in thank you for watching great to see you here louise thank you uh yeah okay i managed to get everything oh no i didn't i forgot one more thing one more thing it's already 11 minutes i knew i would have to talk fast today another little tip that i've got sneaky tip i've been doing puzzles of the great paintings right now i am doing a puzzle of van gogh's night cafe I highly recommend that if you really, really want to get up close and personal with a famous painting. I've never seen a Van Gogh in real life, but I'm doing the puzzle. It helps a lot because you have to really tune in to every little section, figure out where that puzzle piece is. That's a tip you were not expecting today. I know it, but if you can do it, do puzzles of the master's paintings. All right. I will quit talking now because I get very excited about art. I hope you will go see some art and have a great week. Thanks for joining in.